hello and welcome to Sun City West. Hey, did that guy's hood just pop up? I don't think I've seen that one before. Well, as I was saying today, we're going to explore Sun City West in beautiful Surprise, Arizona. This is part two of our Sun City series. The first video is located in the description. There's a link down there. And if you're a fan of these type of driving videos and you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel. Click the like button and the bell to stay up to date on the latest from Dewey's World. So let's talk a little more about Sun City West. It was constructed on an 11,000 acre site just outside of Sun City, Arizona. It included part of a famous ranch known as Lizard Acres, which was a cattle ranch in Sun City. This thing was completely built out by 1998. It is a sister city to the original Sun City located just east of here. The population of Sun City West is about 24,535 people according to the 2010 census. That amounts to about 14,873 households and 8,500 families. Another interesting fact is the distribution of ages across the neighborhoods, you're looking at about 50% of the population of this area is over the age of 54. That is a fascinating statistic too and it really tells you about what Sun City and Sun City West are all about. Another thing to consider is Sun City West was built because Sun City outgrew its boundaries and so they needed an additional sort of overflow space to continue to keep up with demand. It's age restricted, so at least one resident in each household has to be 55 years or older. And Del Webb, the original builder, created this place to be a paradise of recreation, activities. So you'll see golf courses, bowling alleys, there's libraries. And all of this is supported by the Homeowners Association for Sun City West. Which brings up another interesting fact. Most homeowners associations in the United States will charge a monthly or quarterly fee based on the property and the purchase, but in Sun City, there's a mandatory annual fee to the recreation centers. So rather than pay on the house, the rec fee actually pays for the facilities, the landscaping, the golf courses, and all that I mentioned earlier. Sort of the amenities, if you will. And that's about less than $500 per person per year. So I have never heard of that in other areas where you're paying per the, by the person rather than by the house. So that's an interesting take too. We head a little deeper into the community itself. I'm looking for the distinction in homes. The last video, and if you haven't had a chance to check out the original Sun City video, it is in the description below. Those houses were built mostly in the 60s and 70s, and they had a very distinctive look to them. Heavy use of cinder block, low profile ranch style homes. They were great, very kitschy, um, and had a, a very cute sort of any town USA feel. But now we're touring through a neighborhood that was built out in the late 90s, almost at the turn of the century. So it'll be interesting to see what the differences is, are in the neighborhoods here. Nice wide roads, three lanes on each side. We're heading, bending a little bit, and as I mentioned in my last video, Sun City and Sun City West are built on a curve, and you saw in some of the pictures the odd layout of the neighborhood. So we're gonna head down to the town center, if you will, Sun City West. Also, if there's a destination that you want to head out to let me know in the comments below I'll grab my camera and we'll go many of the videos that are on my channel right now were requests from viewers like yourself who wanted to see certain parts of the Phoenix Valley so be sure to take a second and leave a comment below there's a mature landscape feel here when you look at these palm trees some of them I don't know if the camera does them justice but they are very very tall you can really tell the old growth cactus and some of the palm trees have been around a while. Coming up here, we are in the city square.
coming up on the left here is in this major shopping area is one of the local grocers um, there's also going to be a large fries up on the right hand side I think there goes Safeway so lots of grocery stores lots of medical offices this whole center on the right backs up to Hillcrest Golf Club which is a gigantic golf course that runs all the way through the middle of town here got a Chase Bank some local restaurants a little cafe Wells Fargo Obviously, some of the larger chains are right downtown. And as we saw in Sun City on my other video, a lot of medical offices, grocery stores. There's a Goodwill right there on the right, which is a very large, has a very large footprint in southern and central Arizona. You see them everywhere. So a lot of good shopping here come up on the right hand side parking for the fries and beyond that you'll see if you can see it off to the right the palm trees from the golf course as I mentioned very large golf course that runs all the way through the community and is a, a draw or a feature of Sun City West let's take a left here and we'll head down Meeker which is going to head us back south towards Bell and Grand Avenue. And we'll see what we can see down here. Local grocer on the right hand side there. Bashes. Local to Arizona. Medical offices on the left, and then a golf cart for good measure. So, good looking center of town. Quite a bit of shopping, quite a bit of options for eating. Right now on the right hand side, I think we're passing smaller condominium communities. In my other video, we talked about the concept of having you know big houses all the way down to one door condominiums because the snowbirds and the folks from Canada and around the world come in when the weather's bad at home and they spend the winters out here. And you can see why the weather has been phenomenal. On the left is Grand View Golf Course, which is another smaller course that runs through the south portion of Sun City West. In front of us is one of the larger hospitals in the area that's a Banner Del Webb. So you can see the priorities are right for the folks who live here. It's a good looking 55 plus community. So what do you think? Would you move to Sun City or Sun City West if you were looking to retire? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this video. Check out my other videos. And please consider subscribing to the channel, clicking the like button and the bell to stay up to date from the latest from Dewey's World. So thanks for your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. And as always, thank you so much for watching.